Hey, what's up guys? I'm here from AndroidRoots.com and today we're taking a look at a new app uh, and this is called Showtime App and it's a YouTube floating HD player. So you can actually float YouTube apps uh, on your phone, anywhere on the screen, anywhere, uh, just about any type of Android device. And let's go ahead and take a look at the app. So here it is and it looks pretty basic to your normal YouTube app. Um, it has you know your ratings, comments, a little bit of thumbnail, the length of the video and that all the great stuff too. Um, before I actually go and demonstrate the main feature of this app, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the features and options. So if we go and tap on this right here, uh, you get me, favorites, subscriptions, all that. Oh, let's go select no right there. <laughs> um, so you have me, so you can get favorites, subscriptions, uploads, playlists, etc. Um, from YouTube, so trending, most popular, top rated. You guys get the idea, categories for stuff and all that. Um, only one problem I want to mention is when I tried offline, it wouldn't work for some reason. Um, I know it's not a... Uh, free, uh, I mean paid version as it, it's not stated in the paid version application um, but it's right there anyway um, I don't know it's not working uh, maybe he's gonna update it um, but from my experience it's not working um, so let's go ahead and open pocket now video or no let's actually go to Sozu knows best because I just watched that recently so I'll know what it's about uh, let's go and pause that right here and right now you can see you got a lot of stuff you still got search share and options we'll take a look at options so you can add to favorites, playlist, watch later, settings, send feedback, copy URL, open video URL, or about an exit. So you can actually copy this URL. Um, let's see. I haven't tried it, so let's see if it works. Um, so let's see if you copy it. Let's just go and paste it right here. Paste it. And yes, it actually does work, so that's pretty darn cool. I'm just going to exit out of that. Okay, I was just testing that out. All right, so there you go. That was pretty darn cool. So you can actually copy the video, share with a friend um, if he's watching on his desktop or anything like that. That's pretty darn convenient. Um, so here's your YouTube video player. You have a about section for all's about rating, likes, and all that uh, video views, um, uploaded date, and all that title, of course. Here in comments, you can actually go and reply on it. So that's really, really cool. If I go and tap on this, I can go ahead and full-fledged reply to it. And when I actually do, uh, you know, do something, you know, and uh, click OK, it's actually going to be replying it uh, like a desktop. It's not going to be at that person. It's actually going to be, um, you know, just replying it in a string text if you look on the desktop. So it's not going to be at, which is really good. Um, I've been waiting for that for a really long time. Um, Google still hasn't, you know, uh, came up with that feature. So I guess I'm going to be stuck with this, which I'm completely happy with. Of course, you have your similar and more from user as well. So it's pretty awesome. So you have all those options. And now here's probably the main attraction for you guys is the YouTube pop-up player. So if I go and tap on this, you can go and play it if you want or pause it and here is where you just tap on this uh, icon right here and actually go ahead and close the Showtime app and here you go you have the floating YouTube app you can go and put it anywhere on the screen anywhere and I'm really glad it doesn't block the status bar which is nice that's a nice feature right there so I'm glad about that and it stays anywhere in the screen um, if you want to resize it you can let me go and show you that just by uh, holding down the little, little triangle bar right there um, you can go and resize it, but I wish it wasn't resizing it anywhere. I wish it kept it to that 16-9 ratio. Um, that's kind of a problem. Let me go and show you how it's a problem. So we'll go ahead and show that. All right. And now if I try to resize it, as you can see, it gets really weird ratio. If I go and, um, you know, do it really wide, it gets a little bit weirder. Um, so I wish it kept it at that same 69 ratio, but still able to resize it to uh, bigger or smaller, just keeping it diagonally, resizing it. Um, but you can go ahead and obviously go ahead and play it whenever you want. Go ahead through any app. I'm just going to pause it so you guys can actually hear my voice. And another cool thing is that you can actually go ahead and change the HD settings. So if you want to tap on this little HD bar right here, you have options for 1080, PHD, 720p HD, 360, or 240. Um, so if you have a good internet if you have a good internet connection, go ahead and push it up to 1080p, guys. If you have a bad, bad internet con <laughs> if you have bad internet connection, go ahead and push it down to 240p in this specific video. So you have a lot of options, guys, um, for you guys. And let's say you're on a Samsung Galaxy S4 or a Note 2 or you know um, anything that supports multitasking, you can go and multitask with it. Um, so I'm going to open Maps and Gmail, and boom, I got three applications, in theory, open Gmail, Maps, and my YouTube player. So I can go and do anything I want. Oh, looking at Maps, let me go get this, you know, make it a little bit bigger. And this is kind of the ultimate tasking <laughs> way to do stuff. Watch a video, read emails, and go and find your location. 
Um, obviously, you can go and select other applications. Of course, multitasking is limited to, limited to a Samsung Galaxy S4, but you guys do get the idea. And of course, if you want to go and restore the application, just go and tap on this right here. And if you want to go and minimize it, you can go and put this right here on the bottom. If you want to go in and bring it back up, tap on this, and boom, it's back up at the exact same place. Um, you can go and close it out, mute the app, and let's go and uh, put it back into the Showtime application right here. And boom, you guys are back. Um, only one downside to this part is that it starts a video all over, so it doesn't know what part uh, you know where you are in the video. So it's only one downside, not a big deal, but worth mentioning, I guess. Um, and that is it, guys. That is Showtime YouTube floating HD player for your Android device. Be sure to check it out. There's a free and paid version. The paid version allows you to remove the ads that usually come on the bottom. I don't know why it's not coming on mine. Um, maybe I'm running a customer on that that's blocking it or something. Um, I really don't like doing that, but it just came with the customer on. Um, so there you guys go. Um, and that's it. Showtime app. A link down below for the app. And go ahead and thank the developer. Go and rate this app on the Google Play Store as well. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you later. Peace. And if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to like and subscribe in the bottom left hand corner right there. Only two clicks away to really make my day. And of course, you guys will be seeing more app reviews from me, of course, next week, the week after that, every single week. ROM reviews, rooting, clock remod, all that whole nine yards in the near future. I'll catch you guys later.